Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. September through October is Latino Hispanic Heritage Month and the San Francisco Library has been celebrating all month long with concerts, dance, authors and other fun events. It's called Viva and here to tell us all about it is the library's community engagement manager Alejandro Gallegos. Welcome to Bay Area Focus. Thank you. It's fun to be here. I know. It's so much fun, especially when you're talking about Viva. Now, this sounds like a very fun event. You're talking music and food, not something you really associate much with the library. Right. I think we're really proud of the different offerings that we have all through the month, not just for Viva, but for all different, all different things. Anyone who is, has been going to our libraries has noticed we do food programs, we do concerts, we do music, we do authors. I'm really proud currently for Viva. We've had this really great run of authors. We had Carolina de Robertis talking about her new book, Cantantes, she also did Gods of Tango. Mm -hmm. We had uh, Solita, Solito, Solito, Solita book uh, about talking about Central American youth refugees. We had a panel of refugees and their editors of the book. Um, we have Tommy Orange coming up. I think we have a lot of exciting things happening right now coming up and things that just happened. It's such a great time, I think, in our libraries. So tell me how, why it's so important to really focus on Latino heritage, and especially because it's so diverse within the Latino community. I, those are both really interesting questions. I think it's really important for us as a library system to tangibly show support that we acknowledge, that we recognize, that we value the people who live in our city. Mm -hmm. I think, especially maybe for Viva, but for a lot, all of our communities, I think we're all... We all have questions about where we are in the city, where we fit, where we belong, are we being supported? And this is our way of, of supporting our community, of showing them that, yeah, the library is for you. And too many communities, especially communities of color, haven't historically felt that institutions that are the city, city institutions belong to them, mm -hmm. including the library. Maybe they don't feel it's part of who they are. Maybe they don't feel it, they don't have ownership of this institution and we're here to say this belongs to you this belongs to everyone we want programs that are not only just about you but hopefully they are by people like us mm -hmm. and also for people like us uh -huh. and that's what we're trying to do and there are a lot of programs available uh, youth right. programs and adult programs youth pro so we have a lot of partnerships with people who are helping us do this Great youth programs. The Mexican Museum is doing uh, mask making for kids throughout the city. We have adult programs. La Cocina, another partner, just came out with a cookbook. And a lot of their uh, entrepreneurs and chefs will be here on the 15th uh, talking about their book. We have El Tecolote, the, the newspaper. We had a program with them. So I think we, are, we do have a lot of variety of programs. It's media, it's chefs, it's dancing, it's Cuban dancing, it's everything. It's just so much fun. I'm like, I can't contain myself. I know, I get excited just listening to it because, you know, the Latino heritage, that we have a lot of fun things going on in our community. And you talked about the variety of, it's not just this monolithic, flat culture. Right. It is people, especially here in San Francisco. I grew up it's in San Cuban, Jose, it's where it's Mexican. Mexican. And it's Puerto Rican. San Francisco, we have Cuban, we have Mexican, we have Puerto Rican, we have Dominicans, we have so many Central American cultures. It's just incredible. And I think we're so lucky to be able to to do this kind of programming and to live in such a vibrant, interesting place. You mentioned the author series. Um, there are also yeah. is the One City, One Book program. Yes. That is like underseeing some changes right now. Right now we are going, we're transitioning almost from Viva into our Native American programming that is inspired by the book There There by Tommy Orange, who's an Oakland native. Mm -hmm. And we're starting to do some Native program, Native American programming around this book. The big program will be on October 16th. Tommy Orange will be here at the main library speaking about his book. Uh, come on down. I think it'll be a full house. I'll save everyone here a seat. Uh, but <laughs> okay, that's going to be incredible. But we also have had, like, in, in trying to work with our community and do more things, we just had a water walk led by some tribal elders. Mm -hmm. This isn't even a program that is at one of our libraries. It was at Ocean Beach. Mm -hmm. And it was organized by our library. And we had people going down there doing a traditional water walk, which honors the water, which honors what it means to Native people. Um, so I think we're finding opportunities to engage and connect with these varied communities and using things like the book They Are There, which is very popular, yeah. using our uh, months like Viva to connect. So I'm really happy to be able to be here and 
talk a little bit about this. Well, it sounds very educational. It sounds like a lot of fun it to is you, so Alejandro. Much fun. Thank you so much for coming Thank on the you. show. And don't forget, on October 16th, One City, One Book will feature author Tommy Orange talking about his latest novel, There, There. And for more about Viva celebrating Hispanic heritage at the San Francisco Library, just go to sfpl.org slash Viva. Alejandro, thank, thank you. you. Coming up, blissful real estate and graced by grit when Bay Area Focus returns in a moment.